summer? <laughs> yeah, quite a bit actually. <laughs> I mean, I know you popped back in the summer briefly, but to now it yeah. has to be a little more official this time. What, what yeah, were you no. feeling as you came in? Yeah, it's different for sure coming in the other side. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just getting out on the ice. It's uh, obviously a lot of familiar faces around here, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be different. But looking forward to playing playing the boys over there. Who did you hear from? Uh, I just saw a few guys just snuck out to in the tunnel for a bit. Uh, saw you know, I saw Chucky, saw Johnny, saw Luch, uh, just a quick hello to Marky and guys like that. But I'm sure I'll hear a lot of a lot of chirps tonight and and all that. But uh, it looks like they're dressed in a pretty good lineup, so it'll be it'll be a good game to get into. Yeah, you don't see a lot of 900 and some game veterans on the road in the preseason. Did yeah. you uh, <laughs> did you ask for this one? Yeah, no, I I think just. Just our schedule, like looking at it, we only have uh, what do we have? Four games left. I think being a new team, we got to get we got to get familiar with each other and and play games. So um, it's actually, to be honest, on in preseason, it's actually better sometimes to play on the road. You play better lineups, uh, especially early in camp. And uh, looking forward to it. In kind of wrapping your head around the first game back in Calgary, whenever that was going to be, like what what are you imagining? What what is it going to be like? Um, I don't know. Tonight's going to be pretty, pretty cool. I think, uh, but, but the regular season one, I'm sure it'll be uh, full building. Um, just uh, a lot of memories. I, I think uh, it's going to be weird for sure tonight coming in here. I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad to get one, uh, get one under my belt here early in uh, my time in Seattle here, and then, uh, you know, the one in December will be special, but. Uh, it's going to be a big game for sure. It's going to be a divisional game in December. It's going to be a pretty big game. Uh, but, yeah, just looking forward to, to really playing the other night in front of the fans is cool, man. Like, we haven't played in front of fans in a long time and uh, to, to get to Spokane. And I'm looking forward to getting back here and playing in front of these guys again too. What's your schedule like while you're in here? you got to get home, cut the grass or anything? <laughs> sold the house? Like, do, do, yeah. Is there anything to kind of clean up here in Calgary? Yeah, no, just uh, still have my place here. Uh, uh, have people in and out, uh, obviously keeping an eye on it, taking care of it. But uh, no, I, I we 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 got in late last night from Edmonton, so uh, just went to the hotel and uh, pregame skate this morning. What would you describe like um, like an expansion team so far? Like describe the experience. Yeah, I think uh, it's been great. I think the city of Seattle, uh, uh, we're getting used to it as a family. My my family and I. Uh, we're, we're liking it, uh, a lot of things to do. But uh, as far as the team goes, just just a lot of new faces. And uh, I think it's really it's a really important camp to get used to each other, get used to how we're going to play. And, and uh, you know, like I said before, we only have four left. So it's really important tonight to, to, to sort of get, get going here and, and then the next back-to-back -back on the weekend. And then pretty much from there, we're, we're into the regular season. So... It's it's going to be a, an important little few games here for for our team. What's the adjustment been like for you after being in one place for so long? Yeah, you know what? Uh, more of the off ice stuff, just trying to get my family uh, situated in the city. But on the ice, I mean, uh, playing in the league for as long as I have, I think most teams play the same same style or similar style. It's the differences are how aggressive you want to be in certain areas. So. Um, just trying to adjust to little little things that we do differently in, on our team and uh, go from there. Uh, I know you've been drafted in a bunch of different places, but kind of how long did it take to just wrap your head and emotions around all of it when you've given <coughs> so much for so long to one place? Yeah, I, um, I think you know the there's some shock there for the first few days, uh, and then. You know, after I got home from the draft, I went out to Seattle for the expansion draft and got home. And uh, you know, a few days later, you start uh, you start planning to, to get to the city, and then the excitement came. Like it's a it's a you know, I know I've played a long time, but it's it's a new start for me too. It's a fresh start. It's a new set of eyes watching you every night. So, um, just looking forward to, to having a good year and and playing well and and going from there. Did you get it? real chance to, to say goodbye. I, I, I guess I just wonder, you know, for a fan base that loves you and watched you grow and 
do everything you did as a person on and off the ice here. What stands out for you, and what do you want the people of Calgary, the fans, to know about your time here? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I said it a ton of times before. I, I developed so many relationships. I, I grew up as an adult here. I mean, uh, so I, I, the thing that I, I would want them to, to remember me as is I think, uh, you know, playing well or playing poorly, I, I you know, I gave my all every shift and every night and I'll continue to do that and that's the one thing I hope they remember me uh, as and um, I, I have so many different memories of the city and good times and, and uh, on and off the ice so um, yeah it's a special place obviously for, for my family and I and uh, um, a, lot of, a lot of great people I, I've developed relationships in this city for sure. Who, uh, who's the guy over there that will chirp even though it's exhibition night? Uh, I told Razzy, like when me and Razzy were texting back and forth, I told him that he better not, but I'm sure if uh, um, if there was one guy, I'd, I'd probably pick him. <laughs> He'd be the guy to, to, to give it to me no matter what. <laughs> what was the high point here in all your years in Calgary? I know you've got so many memories, but is there one moment that you said that was the greatest moment to be a player? Uh, yeah, I, I mean... Uh, I think just the one year where we won the conference, I think we, we had a, I know it didn't end the way we wanted to that year, but we had a lot of good things going on that year and uh, just having success as a team. And I think, you know, that's something I, 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 I told the guys in Seattle too, like I, that's what you play for towards the end of your career. You want to have that success. You want to have that, uh, you know, that opportunity to play for the cup. So just that, that team stands out for sure some of the distractions and emotions out of the way in the preseason so that when you come back in December, it won't be as big yeah. a, a task for you? Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. I think uh, um, that night's going to be pretty special regardless, but it's it's nice to, to get out here, see see some of the guys, see uh, some of the coaches uh, over there and uh, say hello. And and then, you know what, uh, it starts camp. If camp is funny, uh, the first few games, it's you know, there's a lot of guys in and out of the lineup, and then it starts getting serious really quick. And I think we're at that point now where, um, you know, you start putting your team together, putting your lineups in uh, towards the end, and, and you, you realize as a player you got to get going here. It's a little bit nice goodbye to everybody in their first season. Do you, do you feel like the Kraken can do the same? Yeah, I feel like uh, um, just just getting to know some of the guys that we've drafted that I, I might have not known as well before. We have a lot of players who, uh, you know, I guess you can call them underrated. I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen them as much because of how the divisions worked out last year and all that. But we have a lot of good young players who um, are right there, and, and they, they're, they're going to turn into stars here real quick. If, and uh, I really think our team is the way we're built. We're going to be, we're gonna be a, a tough team to, to play against for sure, and, and uh, hopefully that translates into a lot of wins. Okay, guys. Well, see you later.